just want to thank like some of the new comments we received this last week. Uh, uh, Nikhil, Philip, Christ- uh, Christopher, Summer Jazz, Jeffrey, Mihan, No Name, and Senor Fri- Friol, which means bean. <laughs> I looked it up just to make sure I wasn't saying anything bad. Yeah, so <laughs> and, then, uh, and then also to it. our returning comments, uh, you uh, Sonic Cam, Albert, Dr. Sonic Spear, and Code Number 12. Thank you guys for continuing yeah, uh, to support us weekly. That is awesome, and uh, hopefully uh, we can keep improving from here. Yeah. So that's it. So this week again, more foreshadowing, but like so much things happened in like the last half. So I just want to focus on the first yeah. half first because um, yeah, I have a lot of things. Okay, wait, wait, wait. before we go on to that, okay, I really have to give a shout out to the production staff of this show Egg simply firm. because just the how they do. The OP is so well done. Is there really I, I an can't OP? get over it. it. Every yes, every single yeah. episode, they don't give it's... you a standalone like minute and a half cinematic of what's going yep. to happen. They mm-hmm. legit give you experience of what the world building is, what's around, what it looks like, and it just pans everywhere across like where they're at. And I, I can't get enough of it because it's just amazing. There's no spoilers. It just gives you the world. And just expands and it's like it's amazing. I love it. Dude. The openings are kind of a part of like what we're currently seeing too. So it's no, just, yeah. it's, totally, it's totally it's totally like yeah. this episode with like it's such a small thing, but the fact that you know the town that they're in showing kind of it's raining and what people are doing in the rain, like exactly as Brian said, like it's something that just adds so much more flavor to the series rather than a you know ninety second kind of ad break, if you will, that we get every week with like normal openings of just the same thing. Yes. It's just more okay. to see. And actually, more it's a better it's just, usage of the, the time. Okay. They're actually, done it every I, every week too. I actually actually noticed that I just noticed the the song play. I didn't actually notice about the panning. I mean so. the, the song is an absolute fair. banger as well. So the song's awesome. It yeah. definitely no, fits the song's the cool though. The song's yeah. really cool. So um so started off. So last week I kept saying like I was waiting for the time skip. Technically we had a mini uh, time skip yeah, because we had two oh, years. Yeah, 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 we had two years. Had two years. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down, bro. Enjoy it, man. Yeah. No, I'm not saying like, enjoy yeah. the I'm just process. Saying, no, I'm just saying like I didn't I didn't know how the the go with the pacing, but we're technically we're, it's a going little by little, so we got two years. And then um God, there's there's a lot of details. Mention- from previous episode where where I mean Ares is becoming a beast with the sword. Yeah, yeah I think she's uh, advanced level mention, now. Yeah, yeah. Advanced, advanced, level, advanced level, yeah. Yeah, we forgot to mention that last week, but then it even like showed it more again this like this week about how much like how much more she's like Well yeah, and you can just see it in her fights with Galen, oh, yeah. like how much more yeah. advanced it's getting. Yeah. So. It's intense. Sorry, Brian, Ooh. I cut you off. Hmm. Brian? Yeah, I <laughs> think she's on the same level as Paul for sword level. Yeah. So. What? That just goes to show mm. this girl is legit a sword prodigy. He's definitely evolving quickly. I think Paul maybe. I have to go back. You might be right, but I want to say he's maybe one higher, but oh, I could be wrong. I think oh, okay. he's advanced in all yeah. three. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, she's, uh, there's, yeah, there's the three yeah. sword styles as I think, well. Because yeah, right. right. I think she's only the sword god style, right? Or which, I forgot which style. She's only one. A master, master of the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah advanced yeah. sword god. Sword god, hmm. yeah. So. Which, Damn. Weird, yeah, if, if it is equal level, then. That's crazy. Yeah, Eris is. So, yeah, she's only 12. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. She's yeah, the uh, sword version of Rudy with magic. <laughs> another child prodigy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just thought I mentioned about like how um was it they mentioned about like more about the family the, the family politics how um like so Paul's family who's from what Norris or Nor- Norat I think it's uh the Nodo Gray Rats are what uh Rudis is and Paul is the Notice. No, because <laughs> they're, yeah. they're they're all part of the Gray Rat family, but like but apparently yeah, like there's, uh, there's the Gray Rat and then there's four different like branching families. yeah so his yeah. paul's branch like they don't like they don't like i guess they're like the black sheep of the family they don't really like them that much and then they have a brother that's ruling and the way that that uh Eris's dad was telling it sounds like he wants like he wants rudis to take over over his uncle so i'm s- it sounds like like there's gonna be like, a plot point later on like like whatever after this when he's done with a kid that it sounds like uh the family politics is gonna come back and like Rudy's got to get involved in this, like in like a family succession dispute, because they also mentioned to how um, the 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 two the two brother Ares' two brothers, older and the younger, got taken away by mm-hmm. um, it was by uh, uh, the Nora uh, brother, right? Because like, he's yeah, it's uh, by Paul's brother. Yeah, he basically wants to have like he's, all he's, potential gray rat heirs. So he's, he's like he's like, heir, like, he's like heir of the family, right? <laughs> yeah. Even above like Ares' dad, right? 
I think, I so. think so. That's yeah, why, that's that. That's I'm pretty sure Paul's family is like the main go to. Like they run that shit. Yeah, so that was, that was uncle sounds like he's trash. Yeah, so that was, that was like justification for him taking away the two sons to raise them in the head of the household. So, yeah, so again, it just sounds like it's gonna like it's gonna come back later where like Rudy's gonna get involved in like this succession dispute with like probably I don't know I don't know the brother if Iris's brother is gonna be involved or it's gonna be like with like um his other cousins from his brother's side. It'll happen. Yeah, it could so, be. So that's definitely like that's definitely one like foreshadowing they're putting in, and then um, yeah, there was you know, I like yeah. how. Oh, sorry, I, I kind of have notes of so just kind of like in in a row from like the episodes. Like mm-hmm. I, I found like Eris's mom like hated Paul this entire or Rudy well, this entire time, but then you actually find out that she actually doesn't <laughs> and like wants to adopt him. They, they, um... <laughs> Uh, mm. The dad did say she did hate him at first because like her sons got taken away, and then yeah, and then, yeah back, that little backstory Paul's, clip was Paul's was son intense. was able to like roam here for as a freeloader, so she did hate him for a little bit. But I think slowly she started to <sighs> yeah. To I kind of didn't him. like that. I kind of wanted them to keep it as like that hate because I think I said really? like last week like they're continually focusing on Hilda like not liking Rudy being there, and then to David's point, this episode we learned well she doesn't like him being there because her sons got taken away, but here's Rudy that just kind of gets to do whatever the heck he wants to do with his life, you know? I'm, I'm, and then all of a sudden she's just like, oh, because my daughter, you know, likes you and because of all these other reasons, like, oh, I really like you. It's like, I think, I think that's I'm fine okay, with it cool. just because it seems like, because it seems like everybody else in that family, like, they, 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 they can't stand, they hate them. So it's like, at the same time, it's nice, like, where they're, I guess they're not blaming a child because they really don't have, like, I, I mean, he's been there for how many years now? Like, what, like at least how old three is he years now. He, I think it yeah, was okay. well actually a little yeah, over two yeah. years. Well, I, I, I think it was seven when he when he first joined, and I think he celebrated his tenth birthday. So I'll just yep. add, I think it's because also the time skip that we don't really see more of the development with her accepting. That's true. So I think I think yeah, it's yeah, it the, has the, been a long time. The time so. skip, yeah, basically, that's true. like very true. It up. very true. Yeah, so I, I actually kind of like because uh, first, like in my notes, I'm like, man, why is this, why is she being such a bitch? And then like that whole like whole thing where they're they're like pulling her out of there, and then they're, they yeah. give like a little backstory about it. I was like, oh damn! I was like, okay, I'm fine with her. She's cool. Um, yeah, guys, so we're, fair. Guys, I don't really get what I don't really get what flipped the switch though. Like, what made her also just right? Guys. That's that's what that's I don't what get. we're missing. Oh, I think right. that's the, the little skip that we're missing. Yeah, um, it, yeah. It's, if, uh, she's if, been there for three years. If anything, from what I can sort of tell is like she already had two of her sons like sort of leave, mm-hmm. and over like the three years that like he stayed there, she sort of like adopted him in as like a sort of son figure. So That's she wants another son. Too. Yeah. I, I, I mean, think she think just it... wants a son. And yeah, yeah. Like, and it's like away, you said, so. she probably realized like I can spend all this time, you know, having my chip on my shoulder, or I can, you know, bring in this son that is still, you know, family blood at the end of the day, and just kind of let bygones be bygones and work it for the best rather than just being negative. Right. Dude, I, I got debated a little bit though, because when uh, Rudy was like, Oh, like he was trying to guess a surprise, right? He was like, Oh, my parents coming. And then everyone was kind of silent, like, uh, yeah. kinda, like tearing up. And then all of a sudden, you know, like, like, yo, we're, we'll adopt you. You know, like you be my son now. And then I was like, wait, 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 are we just like skipping over the fact that, that maybe Paul and like, like Rudis's family is dead, you know. Like, is that is that what's going on here? Yeah, I, and, I thought that would happen yeah, too. Yeah, and, and then luckily, Paul's still alive. They show well, up later. Yeah, that later yeah, another yeah. and stuff. They're showing that's up. The, yeah. sec- uh, more of the second half. But I guess I mean, there's something yeah. I really want. Besides, besides, like, so, like, I felt like the whole thing of like, um, the whole family politics and like the mom's important. And then, but then, of course, there's Rudy being more of a pedo. So there's always that. Wait, Wait yeah. Before it's, it's that, I just want to give a real big shout out to the granddad because oh no, okay. <laughs> the granddad was hilarious too. This man was like, <laughs> I just want to get rid of the head of the noticed family, put Rudis in charge. I was like, hell yeah, free. <laughs> that that was hella Rudis. funny how they had to drag him from the party and then they had to drag <laughs> the yeah, mom yeah, Hilda from yeah, the party as well. Great. That was man, well I'll, done. But he loves Rudy. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I love let's kill this part. other guy. Put him. <laughs> the last uh, part of the the first half of the episode that I also have to call out is uh the peek into Galane's uh great buns of steel. Yeah, <laughs> I, was gonna say, say. Like, I was gonna say we are nine and ten minutes in, and we have not talked about that ass. And uh, <laughs> oh, whoa, I wasn't whoa, gonna whoa. I wasn't gonna let that ass go, friend. No, you weren't. I had it up here. I was like, okay, we got this. We got this. But like Galane's ass. Yeah, I I first paused it. I'm like, wait. And I, I was trying to like see like how, and then he, had, and then you find out that it's basically just 
it's just like steel. I'm like, it's like, just pure muscle. muscle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thought like degenerates. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, sir? So, I honestly, I don't know if I have anything else to say about that. <laughs> I know. I just accepted all of the fans. I, I just wanted to bring show. it up. Like, I was just interested because I knew right away when Rudy showed her his figurine. He's like, oh, but there's one part I don't yet understand. I was like, <laughs> yeah, here yeah. we go. And, and it was, I, I like this better than all of the other kind of like pedo over oh, erotic yeah. stuff that they yeah. do. Like this, even though admittedly still erotic in some sense, I, it was much more comedic focus of, you yeah. know, of course, Ghislaine just has buns of steel where it's, you know, there's not much ass there it's literally just muscle <laughs> and, and glenn is of age i'm i'm assuming yes 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 i would <laughs> hope so in bc no. maybe you know it gets multiplied <laughs> she's not man child no <laughs> yeah that, that too that too it's yeah. uh let's see what else um dude uh his his new staff is pretty sick i actually like the name of it Aqua i don't know Hartia. why they didn't like it I don't know yeah why. uh Aquahardius. i thought it was i thought it was pretty cool it fit the look of it it's blue Oh yeah, that's that's keep it right. It's blue. Mm. Yes, but the, but that like this like uh that was just like how like what they showed of his power though just from that thing just was insane. Yeah, the amplification. He just got a huge upgrade yeah. just because of, like so now we found out like how much the staff matters in amplifying one's yep. abilities. I mean, I mean they, you, mentioned, they mentioned that before. You can that so up in RPGs doesn't... in general, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, they yeah, I suppose they mentioned but... the magic system too, of, like and yeah, stuff like yeah. him giving the wands to that's true, that's true. and Delane and Roxy yeah. giving so, him. So I'm not surprised that he gave a huge upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, before we get to kind of like to the, the last part of the episode, uh, there was one more thing I wanted to bring up. Um, do we want to take that one guy's like talk about a coup? Like, serious? Was he legit or wait, what guy? The Philip, <sighs> Philip, yeah, yeah, Philip. Like, was yeah. he like, um, telling the truth? Was he about the debating? family? Like, like, like he was, was he trying to bait him? Like, what, I feel what, like what... it's he was pretty. Like honest about it. Wait, like okay, he was honest about basically starting a coup. Okay, I just yeah. 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 I think he's just like, yo, Rudy, I want to use you as a tool. Like, yeah, you cool with that? Are you, are you talking about, like, <laughs> yeah, the, part about the family? Like, he wants Maybe. to take, take down the the older brother. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's what I was yeah. mentioning earlier. How like I think yeah, it's setting suppose, up like yeah. it's setting up like yeah. a future plot point where he probably will call on Rudy later. Oh yeah, it makes sense because it sounds like he's absolute garbage. But that so, but that's what we were talking about earlier. So I don't know if you want anything you want to add or. No, I basically I, okay. I just I didn't know the guy's name, Philip. Okay, yeah, because we already met, we already <laughs> that, Phillip, that helps me. Just Philip. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how I didn't remember that. I name. just think I don't know. Never mind. Okay, uh, so that's that's the first half. <laughs> we gotta talk about that last half though, where like, so many fucking things oh, happen. Man, yeah, and, dude, like, hold on. I just want to say first, like you only see like two ish monsters, and I love the design so far. The dragon design pretty fucking dope and I like the wild wolf design for the like the two monsters that we see also pretty fucking 100%. dope and then you see like oh, the, the hero the hero in the history books he shows up so he's a real person and he's oh, yeah. dead or anything that was pretty dope this dragon looking dude that guy was pretty dope literally everything but, they showed is pretty but, fucking but dope. Brian, what were your thoughts on kirishi kaya kishi like <laughs> yeah what what were your thoughts on that little demon girl Ki- Kia, I can, I could ask uh, whatever. Should probably be important later. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> awful design. Like I, I, when I saw this, yeah. I was like, oh my god. Out of all <laughs> the things that fit in the show and everything being so well tied to you know the time and everything, and then you just get the lolly demon girl, like these with new... a complete <laughs> unique art style as well. And it's just yeah. like, well, because I see new... why this is Isekai again. Well, you, you bring me back to all these villains look so intense. Like I mean, she just looks like almost comedic relief in a sense. Cause yeah. like that, the new dude that was like like talking to the dragon, where it's just like, damn, like this guy looks intense. Yeah, how do you go and from that guy to this exactly? Yeah, and then cut to this guy or this this girl. I'm like thinking, what what just happened? And then um, but you know, but the whole thing with like the floating castle and basically like uh, where we think that where was it the the lord like the lord uh, is, is, still, is still alive somehow. And but yeah, like, I was gonna lighting... ask, do we know how long ago the events were from? Wasn't like 300 La years Plast? or something? The, yeah, it was like 300 or 400 years, right? 400. So that was obviously 400. like some, yeah, they yeah. some aging, like though. magic or something. Yeah, yeah but dude, like, but the lightning flash guy, that, that guy was sick too. Oh, yeah, Brian, Brian sorry, to take your up. point. I was trying to get up to that. Um, good. Yeah, but no, it's yeah. awesome. But I'll just, I'll just say, like, man, like, 
because okay, you you guys were enjoying this slow pace, like it was nice, and we we're getting more and more details, and then all of a sudden, just like all these important things happen in this last like fifteen minutes, like man, I ramped up real yeah, quick. You gave it. You oh, that's what the fuck. I didn't want this. All right, I didn't want like no, honestly, all of this rush at the last, the last half. Like, oh, no. yeah, I would say it was like in the last like few minutes. Uh, fifteen minutes is way too much. Um, well, but, guys, no, what's called the turning point? So. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. I, know, I thought like the whole thing like it's still like I have no idea what to expect like it, like every episode like it, it, like one no idea this was gonna happen we found out what the red ball was do we yeah. really though did we yeah I thought it was basically the the thing for the, the it was like the seal for the demon god Laplace no no it's uh... oh I just thought oh, that they mentioned yeah. it that they were like oh is this like a resurrection of Laplace but I just right. thought they were kept on saying it was like a collection of mana. No, it is. But oh, I no, like, like, uh, you... like a seal almost for it. The, it's it. The, oh, that, the, that the would spell, make sense. Yeah. The spell. Yeah. It, no, I think they're saying the spell is being used to break the seal on because the the castle in the sky is Lapis, and so the spell is being used to undo the seal. But you don't really know what the spell is yet. I don't yeah. think they mentioned it. I just thought there's like everybody like, yo, what the hell is all this yeah, collection I don't think, of I don't like, like what the spell mana is going yet. on? I don't know what the spell is. No, I'm talking about the, then, the ball, like the red ball. Yeah, no, that's what we're talking about. That's a spell. Oh. Yeah, the Laplace is the uh, castle. So, but it's interesting because the uh, servant of Paragius, when he arrives and fights Galen, he specifically says like it's emanating from Rudy, or like there's some connection between the sphere and Rudy, because he wants to mm. kill Rudy when he first shows up. Like mm -hmm. that's his whole prerogative, and Galen's Gal like, yeah, that's that's Either not there, him. They just have no clue. They might be just terrified of whatever that comes next, and they just assume that there's nothing else there. And then he did get ordered to basically kill whoever's there. Yeah, anyone's suspicious. Yeah, I don't know. they yeah. have to go back. It seemed like he targeted just Rudy. I don't, I don't think he, he was there to yeah, kill anyone else. Yeah, but I think it's, it's literally like, like, "Hey, this kid has something tied to this mana. Like, I need to kill him." Yeah, and they're like, "Yeah, don't do that." Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And he's I like, just... "Okay, if you if you a sword king, Galen, that is, if you like vouch for him, then he said, okay, 'Okay, I'll let it like go for now.'" Yeah, yeah, like, dude, Galen is such a badass character, <laughs> dude. Like, she yeah. just stated her name and her rank, and this this guy was like. All right, respect. Okay. Yeah, he's like, I'll, I was like I'll oh off. my god! <laughs> right. This guy literally came in like Minato from Naruto, just you know, like flash of lightning yep. all over the place, and then he's just like, oh, Galen, word. All right, we're good. Yeah, Later. I was like, and oh lightning my. bolts out of there. <laughs> yeah. For real, dude. Such a good character. Yeah, all of a sudden, like, yeah, basically how David said, like, it, like a bunch of stuff. Just, like, this is the first time, like, in the show where it's just like, oh, God, like, you know, like, it's basically it's, like, a bunch of things now are out, are out want, there. This is not what I want. I didn't want everything to be dumped like this. And Tizzle was saying it wasn't for a time skip. But it's like, I didn't I didn't want, want it. Like, I thought because, like, the way they're going, they're slowly, like, keep doing it slowly, like, like, slowly bring out more details. I didn't want to, like, dump it all on us at the last, like, yeah. 10 minutes here yeah. so. but you want oh, time skip. Oh. you should have specified sir now now look what we got God <laughs> yeah oh it's my fault huh? <laughs> yeah, like, it's because you kept vouching for a time skip you said like you know what here you just said time skip time skip time skip now we got to give them credit though I am glad that it didn't just jump from like Paragius and uh his servant uh Amalfi I think his name or something Amalfi something like that something like that yeah um, I'm glad that they showed everybody else's experience Experience in the world where like you had the scene with like Paul and Zenith and everybody coming out into their yard and being oh, like, yeah, what the what fuck want, is that happening? And then I'm glad like they showed the guy walking on the mountain with the dragon and he's like, yo, what the fuck is that? They could have just very well been like, all right, skip straight to Rudy's perspective, but I'm glad they showed like all these different individuals in the world that are all like, oh shit, like what the fuck is happening? Like So cause cause Aristid mentioned too how they want to bring the family, but they said like monsters were um acting up and then they they, they showed Paul like like fighting the monsters, but I have this yeah. really bad feeling that Paul is just gonna die, like in like the monster, the monster uprising. Like it's just this bad nah, feeling. Dude, I'm he can't. Um, Paul's too badass to die. Like that, I, I feel like whatever is gonna be the main focus is gonna be like that blue light that like, they're. Yeah, I'm what, assuming either what do you think that or... blue light's gonna do? You think they're gonna be brought to some location? I, I thought so. they're like literally getting warped somewhere. Yeah, well, I think so. Because so. it's uh, not gonna eradicate them, obviously. Because then they just no. Oh yeah, it's Rudy. It's just was. like Eris. No, they just get wiped down. It's like all right. No, I forgot who it was. Plot but, twist. But one of the one of the characters did mention something about like the mana seems like it was like summoning mana, so maybe it was like a teleportation spell. Like whatever that blue light was. Yeah, I need to go Maybe. back and check. Yeah, if, yeah, I thought it was first like some giant like obliteration spell when I and I saw Glenn <laughs> going, I was like, oh my god, motherfucker! But then I saw the other guys going, yep. I was like, okay, we should be safe. 
Right. I, it's kind of funny because like Ghislaine, you know, is obviously trying to like protect Rudy and Eris from this happening. And then Rudy's just like, Eris, oh no. But if you walk in, like Rudy does nothing to try to like protect Eris. Like he doesn't put his body in front of her or anything. He's just like, oh, he's okay. trying to really yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. He just leaves her. He's just like, Eris, gotta go. No, I mean, awesome. at, the, at, the, at the last second, he did run back, I think. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Wait, he did. wait five like seconds. Her, double check. Yes, he yeah, did but, come back and cover yeah. her. Okay, okay, good. Last good, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, We're good. The, the initial part. I, I must have spaced out on that then. Oh, no, the, <laughs> the, the initial part, he did run away. <laughs> and you're like, wait. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he did yeah. cover her. She, like, like, woman, when I say run, you run. But yeah, <laughs> I, I guess she did. But it's very so. fitting that Rudy's just like, every man for himself. Like, we got to get out of here. Right? Yeah. Which is too bad, because which is too bad, because I think like Rudy with his like spells, he could go a little quicker. And of course, like she seems like she can use like some sort of like a. Um, I mean, she's a advanced. But at the same time, like, if you don't know what is but happening, it's, it's a like, huge, it's basically just like huge a slide of magic though, so she can't really. That's going yeah, really fast. There's nothing they, they can do. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, it's. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. They'll be all right. Oh well, yeah, I mean yeah, I, yeah. I think so too. But no, yeah, like the whole thing is just like it's all of a sudden just a damn, and I still again no idea what's coming next, <laughs> no clue. Yeah, I love yeah. that show. The, uh, yeah, so it's so very, the very last, good. The last thing I'll say, like this episode was called Turning Point, but then the next episode is called like what, like Chance Encounter or whatever. It wasn't called Turning. Yeah, Point it's too, a different so. title. Yeah, I, know I noticed that. that so. Oh, I also God. wonder, and, and I don't know if this is me reading too much into the small details, but um, when they focus back on zenith and the maid like in showing you know norn and then uh aisha. i forget the other girl's name aisha showing like kind of their respective like grow-ups and everything but then they talked about sylphie as well and how she carved a pendant or like a oh, yeah, amulet that for that... rudy so i'm interested to see how that will tie looks... into because then zenith again said oh like you know sylphie looks more and more like a superb but she just doesn't have the red gem it yeah, looks too so. important to ignore the way it was designed. Like it looks so detailed. Yeah. yeah. It looks similar and I know it's not the same one, but I noticed when Rudy had his shirt off, he has a similar like green dragon pendant. I don't know. Did he did they ever show him getting that didn't from like from Colin? Roxy? I don't think Are so, you... no. I thought didn't he get okay. one of the pendants from Roxy or I don't remember. I don't know if to go yeah. back, but like there's one scene in this episode okay. where he's like laying and he doesn't have a it might be when they do kind oh, of yeah, a yeah. No, no, I know, I know, get, yeah. I know what you're talking about when he goes you get shirtless. To see, yeah. Tizzle yeah, says he it's, has a uh, green like necklace. Yeah, Tizzle says it's from Roxy. It's from Roxy. Okay, okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Did did in this? I know they talked or showed a little bit about oh, Roxy, man. but she didn't see the mana ball, did she? They just she's had like not... the one liner where the kid was just like, she saw what was see... going on too. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, she saw what was about. She saw the direction, but I don't okay. know if she saw the mana ball at all. Okay. Also, I think we all know what's in that chest for uh, for Rudy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the whole the whole relic the has whole a relic. always your main name. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Good old relic. Yes. <laughs> yes. Rudy's number one treasure. Yes. Yes. It did. Dude, it still saw that. Ooh, game over, man. No more relationship. I mean, re like you said, Ku, respect to the maid of just being an absolute homie and just being like, all right, <laughs> bro, for real, you know? I'm, like, I'm holding this down. It's like, yeah, it's, it's been three years and you made a special box for Roxy's panties. Like, all right, all right. That's <laughs> cool. So far, we have a love triangle. We have Rudy, uh, Sylphie, and Ares. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to yeah, put Roxy uh, in later, too. We don't have, oh, yeah, we'll have her. a harm later. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. that'll all come to a point. Yeah, dude, we've been informed. I don't, I don't know, like, what's going to happen, though, because, like, dude, like, dude, you know, Rudy, that... wa Rudy wants that harem, right? He wants that possibility. Yeah. He's got silk to think about. And then, like, he just, like, worships Roxy. So, yeah. like, unless he, I can't imagine them, him, like, marrying all three. But if he Roxy does, number one. He said, dude, yeah, Roxy's got to be, no, there's really Roxy's no be the number one wife, right? It, it just feels too much like a, like a master, like, student thing, though. Probably. Um, but but I mean, Krishi Kiyak or whatever, Krishri, whatever her name is, I'm she seems like she has like the let's just call design. her demon. We're just gonna call her Demon Lolly. We don't okay, need Demon it. Lolly. All right, Demon Lolly. Like even like with her look. <laughs> yeah, no, I I wrote it down. I'm like I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it. But anyway, um, it, she she just has a character design. Like it seems like comedy relief and just like a way. Like, just, she would she, of all the characters, she seems like the one that would go to their side at some point. She's just she reminds me so <laughs> much of Milam from the slime slime Tensei show. Yeah. Same. What? Just Not like, even, she, dude. She just reminds me of like a character from Fake Order. Lolly, Grand Order. Twin Tail, like almost like pink magenta hair. No, she she reminds me. She reminds me of of a character from that uh, Dragon Maid anime series. Uh, Who? What? Kobayashi Dragon Maid. 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, like she like the little girl. Yeah, I don't, I don't, mm. I don't see it at all. I, no. yeah, I, I'm gonna have to disagree. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, but that's that's what reminded me. I of don't it. see that. Yeah. Anyways, I think we can all agree that she is very unique, and it'll be quite interesting to see how she yes settles in, in this yeah. environment somehow. Yeah. She doesn't look like she belongs here. Like yeah, she, definitely, she, no, she, she no, got yeah. somewhere. She got yeah. as well. It's yeah. an Isekai within an Isekai. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I think I'm. Yeah, we're 25 yeah. minutes in. I'm good. Wow, <laughs> yeah. way to keep track. Jordan. Also, fun fact. Yeah. Uh, Overhaul's voice actor is the same as the dragon guy. Dragon, yeah, that's how you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 also the, that's also Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen as well. So. Oh, yeah, Gon Kamui. He's in a bunch of stuff. Yep. Mm. He's his main yep. character in in, the, in, in Invaded so too. So, yeah. So. Yeah, his voice is very. Top I can much. I can recognize his voice pretty much. Yeah. My, my pants move a little bit when he speaks. <laughs> and on that note, yeah. we're going to end it right there. So let's leave it for Mushoku Tensei and then move on to yes, our next show. For everybody. Yeah, thank you for everybody who was uh, commenting as well in the video. And thank you, Tizzle, uh, Darren, and um, uh, Ayush as well. Thank you guys for joining us.